channel and for this week's video guys I've realized life can get pretty difficult so I'll be helping you guys out a little bit to make your lives a little more easier with 10 simple life hacks to make your life easier now I'm just letting you guys know that not all of these life hacks are my own I have created most of them but some of them I have taken off Pinterest or my friends have showed me so not all of them are mine but before we get to this life hack video if you guys haven't seen my face before or this channel welcome I'm Maya Hennessy and I do play Sunday videos here on YouTube and if you guys like what you're seeing then please hit that subscribe button it's free and all it does is notify you whenever I do new videos just like this also if you guys if you guys like what you're seeing then please give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps and hey give this video a big thumbs up because this is my very first life hack video and I know there's definitely gonna be more now let's not dawdle on anymore and get straight into the video <laughs> I can't even tell you guys how many times this happened to me. Basically, I'll just be putting my earrings in, everything's going great, it's all normal, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, my hand will slip and I will drop the backing. And I start freaking out because I've literally dropped it where it is unretrievable. And you may start freaking out and getting all worked up, but you don't have to because if you have a pencil near you you can simply take the eraser off of it and use the eraser as your backing and depending on the type of eraser you use you may have to apply a little bit more force when applying it to the little hook thing of your ear now I do not recommend using an eraser to hold the backing of your earring every single time you put an earring in it's more of a replacement until you can find a proper backing and the best part is no one will know you're using an eraser unless you flat out show them so hopefully this hack helps you whenever you drop the backing of your earring <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times I've seen a kid show up to class with their earbuds in, listening to music, and then all of a sudden the teacher comes over and starts yelling at them to take out their earbuds, and they're making such a huge deal about it, how they're not distracting everybody and blah 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 blah. But honestly, they're just kind of hiding it in the wrong way. And honestly, if you use this hack, you can listen to music in your class without getting caught. But in order for this hack to work, you have to be wearing a long sleeve shirt or sweatshirt. Now the first task is to obviously hide your phone and that means either putting it in your sweatshirt pocket or in your front pants pocket or even in your back pocket and for this I'll be showing you guys how to do it with your front pocket. And of course you're going to take your earbuds and plug them into your phone and keep that hidden. Now this next step should probably be done in a bathroom because it's kind of weird to take your arm out of your shirt like that during class but basically you're going to take your earbuds and then slide them up the sleeve of your shirt like so. Also, for this hack to work, you're only going to be able to listen to one earbud. So, slide the two earbuds up the sleeve and only hold on to one of them. Now, take the one earbud and tuck it into your sleeve and then place your head on your hand like as if you were trying to focus in class but also kind of falling asleep at the same time. This pose simply allows you to look like you're actually paying attention in class and it also keeps one ear open to listen to the teacher. And if you notice a teacher start walking your way, simply tuck your earbud back into your sleeve and put your arm down. <laughs> Have you ever forgotten to put on enough bug spray and then ended up with a large bug bite that is super itchy and you have absolutely no lotion to cure it? Well, there is a simple way to relieve this pain. A spoon. All you need to do is take your spoon and run some hot water over it. Then simply place the spoon on top of the bite. It is scientifically proven that the heat will destroy the protein that causes the reaction and it will stop the itching. I will definitely be using this hack because I get mosquito bites really easy. If you're the type of person who hates blow drying their hair and needs their hair dry in only a few minutes, then this is a hack for you. All you need is a paper towel. 
Simply wrap the paper towel around your hair and start pressing down as you move down your hair. All this simply does is remove all the water moisture from the top of your head to the bottom since most of the water moisture is collected at the bottom of your hair. I've never seen a quicker way to ever dry my hair so I definitely recommend this hair hack if you're in a rush to dry your hair. If you've ever wounded up in a group with a bunch of people you should know the name of but accidentally forgot, all you need to do is ask them how to spell their name. This could make you look kind of stupid if they have a really generic name, but honestly it doesn't really matter because you're going to figure out what their name is and that's what's most important. So how do you spell your name? A-L-E-X-A. Alexa, right? Yep. Alright. Okay, and how do you spell your name? You're joking, right? Bill... B-I-L-L? -L. How else do you think you spell it? Oh. Let's be honest, nobody likes being sick and having a sore throat. It's especially worse if you have a really bad cough that makes it feel like someone is stabbing at your throat. It is one of the worst feelings in the world. And honestly, there really is no type of medication that can honestly solve this huge problem that a lot of people face from time to time. However, there is this one little remedy that I can show you that is a huge life hack to me, and it is honey. And like Mary Poppins would say, if the kids had a sore throat, a spoonful of honey helps the medicine go down. And honestly, a spoonful of honey at least two times a day can really make your throat feel better if you're having some problems with your throat. So I really recommend this life hack if you ever have a sore throat. Have you ever wanted to Netflix binge but don't have like anything to watch? This is literally me like 24 7. But don't worry, you don't have to get frustrated or upset because there's this awesome website called NetflixRoulette.net dot that can honestly help you if you really want a Netflix binge and don't have anything to watch. On this website, you can find movies, TV shows, sort them into categories, or even type in one of your favorite actors' names to find something interesting to watch on Netflix that you haven't seen before. For example, when I typed in Shailene Woodley on this website, her first TV show appearance, The Secret Life of an American Teenager, popped up. And I am now so obsessed with this TV show, I can't stop watching it, so I really recommend this website if you need some help with Netflix. Have fun binge watching! This next life hack has really been a help for me, especially because I am studying Latin roots in English and for my studying process, my teacher wants us to write out a sentence with the Latin root in it. And honestly, sometimes it's really hard to find a Latin root within a sentence. So if you're like me and need a word to fill in a sentence, well this life hack is for you. All you need to do is go over to trusty old Google and type in the word you need. Next go under the news page and look at all the sentences underneath there and all you need to do is choose one. You're not limited to anything. Have you ever gone out somewhere with a super cute outfit and then realized you have absolutely no place to put your phone. I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me and I always stuff a bunch of stuff into my wallet so there's obviously no room for my phone in there. So where am I supposed to put it? Well, this simple life hack can help you. If you're wearing a pair of boots that you can easily fit your hand in and out of, this hack will work. I like to call this hack the boot bag because you simply just put your phone into your boot. And you can obviously simply remove it if you ever need it. And also, you could even fit your whole wallet into your boot. I mean, I've tried it before. Now this may not even seem like an actual life hack, but I wanted to mention it anyways because it has shown that people who laugh more are proven to better tolerate pain such as physical and emotional pain. So get together with your friends and have a laugh. Also comment down below if you can come up with a scenario about what me and Alexa were laughing about in these clips. 
this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed it, then please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you thought. Also comment down below if you guys want to see more life hacks from me or if you guys want me to do a testing life hacks video because, you know, that would be really cool to film. Plus, I want to know if some life hacks work too. Also, if you guys want to see more behind the scenes of my everyday life, then please go check out my social media links. The links will be down in the description box below. And always remember guys, when you are on the spotlight, strut your stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!